we get set to embark on a six-month journey through the college basketball season. It'll all culminate in March. It's a long ways away with March Madness. Underway from the Watsko Center, and the first possession of the season is in the hands of Nigel Pack. The starting five for the Leopards. Pack on the wing. He'll fire for three, and it's good. His first triple is a Miami Hurricane. Ryan Zambi with the basketball, commanding things for the Leopards. Nice crowd on hand with Watsko Center for the opener in college basketball. Look out below, Josh Rivera, the freshman. Nobody was there for the Hurricanes to step over and get in front of him there. Shouldn't have been able to go out of the hole like that. Wong with a baseline drive, up and under and off the glass, and it's good. What a flush by Josh Rivera to get Lafayette on the board. Here's Fulton, and he puts it up, and it's good. Started the final 27 games, a two-time Patriot League Rookie of the Week. Wooga Poplar has an offensive rebound for Miami. We'll reset the shot clock. Nice rebound for Poplar there. Keep the, keep the series alive. Now Wong will fire away. A triple for Isaiah Wong. 19th coach in program history, replacing Fran O'Hanlon, who guided the program for 27 seasons before announcing his retirement. Yeah, there's always a little pressure coming in behind somebody like that who's a legend. That was a nice look underneath by Kyle Jenkins, the junior forward out of Connecticut. Wilga Poplar will fire away for three. That's the same spot he was in before. How different his body is right now. He's really, really in great shape. Rivera works on the baseline. Fulton will fire away for three and hit. Up top for Rivera, working on Harlan Beverly into the game for Miami. You can see his talent inside. Far side, three. The right wing is good. The Miami Hurricanes, one of their last nine from the floor. Harlan Beverly will fire for three and hit. Harlan Beverly, it's the first time that Harlan Beverly has seen game action officially in 347 days. It was his first three-pointer made since January 2nd of 2021. Welcome back, College Basketball. Good to be back with you on ACC Network Extra. O'Boyle working on Miller. This is an easy look from the elbow, and it's a good bucket for Vanderbont. First bucket is a leopard. It's all square, 17 all. Nigel Pack, too strong off the back of the iron. An offensive rebound by Jordan Miller. For Lafayette, that three is no good by Vanderbond. But it's back into the hands of the Leopards. They'll fire away again. This time it's T.J. Berger. Bensley Joseph down with the rebound for Miami. Works right, comes back. And he'll pull up and hit a pair, and we're all square. Five of 16 from three-point territory. Vanderbond hands it off. No, we'll keep it. He'll fire and pull up and hit. Silky smooth and a nice touch. Miller for three. And it's good. There we go. Miami up by one. 140 left to play in the half here in Coral Gables. Berger just looked him off. O'Boyle for three. Top of the key and he rattles it home. They're going crazy over there. They're really happy with their performance at this point. Jordan is as animated as any other player on the bench. Here's Isaiah Wong. That gives Miami a one-point lead. Pettit. Far wing. Underneath. O'Boyle. Contested. He hits. And the bucket with a foul. Now he goes back underneath. He puts it up. It's no good. Boy, the first look, Murray, I thought he had an easy look and a layup in at the rim. Yeah, I think you're right. He was a little intimidated, I think, or surprised that he was open that way. There's North Chad O'Meara down low with the right hand. Fulton again, dribble drive, got tangled up in transition. Here comes Isaiah Wong. And transition, Wilga Poplar working with the left hand. Back up top, Wong for three. After the dunk, he's got a triple. There's a look underneath, and a bucket for Jenkins. T.J. Berger being double-teamed by Joseph and Miller. Fulton for three. It's good. New floor, by the way, a new look for the Hurricanes here in Miami this season. Nigel Peck on the other end. 
Quinn transferred to Richmond. Perry, the graduate to Tennessee Tech, nor Chad O'Meara. Underneath, he could see the grit on his face. Lafayette had a two-point lead at halftime. Fulton, 4-3, deep, right wing, it's good. On the elbow. Nice look underneath for Jenkins. Nice feed from Leo O'Boyle. Underneath, Rivera working. Fulton for three in the tie, yes! You can see why C.J. Fulton, a Patriot League all-teamer last year. Bensley Joseph now pulls up, and it's good. 15 on the shot clock. Anthony Walker says, I'll fire away. And that's no good. Soaring through the air. Jordan Miller gets the bucket. Lafayette has not scored a bucket in their last five minutes and 53 seconds. You can change that right now. Miami's attempted 31 three-pointers here tonight. More than they attempted all of last season with authority, Jordan Miller. Lafayette with a chance to creep in a little bit closer. Yes, Kyle Jenkins. Lafayette has played really, really well. North Chad O'Meara. Give him two. Fulton, two left with one. They got it off. No good. Here comes Isaiah Wong in transition. Nigel Pack, that's an easy bucket. They're 5 of 14 from the free throw line. It's made all the difference in the world in this game to open up the season here this evening. Nigel Pack says, I don't care what the score is, I'm going to fire away. He wanted it in an opportunity to kill about 20 more seconds. Yeah. But under two minutes left to play. Miami with a 12-point lead. Not for long. Back to nine. Fulton, he's got 17. As they head towards an opening night victory over the Lafayette Leopards. Jordan Miller takes it away, and that'll put it on ice. Miami beats Lafayette by a final score of 67-54.